Hello to all my friends out there. Here we are. It's 88. It's hot. I used to work in salons with no air conditioning and it really used to kill me at this time of the year. And uh, there's no air. So, you know, I'd be sitting around in there all day and and they would wonder why we didn't have more business. Well, I think it was something to do with the fact that the salon was hot. And always think about that. So it will be hot here. Uh, where I live now is so nice. I was telling my son, um, first it's all, it's quiet and I can close my, my bedrooms are on the second floor and they sit there's a mountain in back of my uh, my townhouse and I can close that up and it's dark any time of the day or night and it's cool because I have a good air conditioner. And really, all I really require for existence is a good air conditioner and a toilet that flushes. <laughs> so uh, today I'm gonna be shopping around. Uh, it was the end of the month and so here we are, you know, October. And uh, so I've been buying some good stuff. And one of the things I'm buying is appliances. And I bought a spring form pan to make cheesecakes. Cheap. I try to get them new and still in the box. I bought a bread machine that way. Uh, my dehydrator is nice. I bought that used. And I bought um, a pasta maker. Uh, I got it very cheap. It was new, still in the box. And the instructions said, do not wash your blades. And there was still a few um, crumbs in my blades. <laughs> so I thought, good, my blades should be nice and sharp. Uh, I, I have a good pasta recipe. I've done it a couple times. If you make it yourself, it's very cheap. So, you know, learning to make the pasta, learning to make the yogurt, learning to make the cheese is really good. Uh, first of all, your food is fresher. So um, I'm looking for more appliances. I don't know what I'm looking for. I go in there and I look and, you know, maybe I'm gonna find something, maybe I'm not. Okay, I posted a, a picture of a squirrel that was in my son's front yard, which is unremarkable, except this squirrel was walking, yes. Upright, like a human. Uh, it better stay in the front yard. I don't think it can outrun that dog of my son's. He chases them down. Uh, we ha He has trees, like nut trees there, and I guess they're attracting squirrels, evolved squirrels. <laughs> I watch these uh, shows, they're uh, Ascension. First of all, Ascension a lot of times has to do with aliens and the consciousness is ascending. So, and, and in these videos watch, they say also animals are ascending. And it does seem like animals are getting smarter. And I thought, well, maybe it was like their con contact with humans, but this squirrel has had no contact with humans, I'm pretty sure. So it is really strange when, you know, you, uh, we have always had, uh, very trainable dogs. Um, this one my son's got now does seem to be pretty smart. Um, I don't know, it might be the food or something, but I have noticed this and I saw this walking squirrel and I thought, that is crazy. That's an ascending squirrel. <laughs> And so now, you know, they're calling uh, the children, what are these children called? Generation Z, Z for Zoomers. And it does seem like every, every generation kind of outdoes the previous generation. And so that's kind of fun to see, actually. So Generation Z, hmm. Okay, so now um, I've been thinking about this, uh, the, I heard something about the variant and what I heard is 
people are presenting in, in the hospital. I mean, I don't know if this is true. I just heard this. People are presenting in the hospital like very sick with very various ailments. And when they're tested, they're positive for uh, the variant. So um, that is something to be cautious with. If you start getting really kind of sick, you know, I'd say it'd be good. Um, when I was a nursing student, I always have to make sure and say student, because I have these people who like to chime in, you were never a nurse. That's true, but I probably w wipe more people's asses and fixed them up than any other nurse I've ever met. But nonetheless, um, one of the ways that I avoided ever getting sick was assuming that every person I met in the hospital, in the nursing homes and out of the hospital had everything I never wanted to catch. And so for years I didn't eat out at all. You know, these, uh, this free food, I, I would eat McDonald's hamburgers, but pretty much never eating out. Um, and never had a cold, never was sick. So one of the best ways to keep ourselves well in in this this climate of of disease it's a pneumonia is to assume that everyone is shedding the virus wearing your mask out here it's like people are oblivious to danger no masks no socially distanced no avoidance of crowds the Spanish flu, though, this is kind of like encouraging. The Spanish flu lasted from 1918, February 1918 to April 1920. So it was two years. So hopefully this thing will run its course and, and, and we'll be done with it in two years. That would be so awesome. The two years is almost up. Um, my neighbor got the boosters. Uh, what I did is I waited around and one day I thought, you know, I can slip in there and get the, the vaccination and be done with it. So um, I like to get in the back of the line. Uh, that came from my husband in Vietnam, not too far back. <laughs> get to the back of the line and don't volunteer. Okay, and then the depression, this very well could be some depression, was 1929 to 1939, so 10 years. I think we could be affected by a bad recession for 10 years. So, like, what we want to do is make the best of it and prepare at the same time. So those of us who've been stockpiling are, are more stockpiled up in food and resources and stuff than ever before because, you know, we don't know what's gonna happen. But people should never, uh, never be um, so secure because anything can happen. Uh, wars, those usually last 10 years except for the Afghan war that lasted 20. Uh, I'm still not over that carnage on the way out of there. Okay, today I'm looking, I'm going up to do some walking and I noticed that they had the Fig Newton cookies again and they had, I think it was apple, strawberry and fig. So I usually try to get two of each because that, that can be used, like if you started running out of food, you can eat a couple of those with the tea. Uh, today, oh, this is so disgusting to me. You know, yesterday was the um, the paleo diet. and I, I mean, I hated it all day long, but I said to myself, it's only one day. What is your problem? So uh, today I can eat anything I want and I'm not hungry. And then the day goes on and, you know, I get a little dinner and then it's time for the paleo again. Uh, the weight is starting to come up. This diet, this, I don't know how anyone could go, I look awful on the paleo diet. And I go, well, you were, you were obese from, you know, eating too much and it's just not coming off in an attractive way. So I'm going to get some Fig Newtons and I'm looking for tenderloins. Those are so nice. You can just cut them in three pieces. 
Um, the ones, I got a beef tenderloin. It was kind of small, but boy was that good. And I put some of that steak seasoning on it and I just baked it in the oven. I will eat some potatoes tonight. Pork tenderloins, chicken tenderloins, and turkey tender ter tenderloins. So it's all, all, no more expensive than uh, ground beef, really. So I'm looking for those on sale, of course. And uh, the year-round garden is coming along nicely. A lot of things, uh, you learn it just by trying and applying. Okay, so my first garden, I had copious amounts of pl plants and very little harvest. <laughs> and I was trying to pull up some plants and I accidentally pulled up my watermelon plant. Oh, that was so maddening. That was so stupid. Uh, did I mention to you that out here the eviction moratorium has ended as of midnight last night? And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, you know, there's this thing, emergency rental assistance. I put a, um, a video on my Twitter and I put some music on there. You know, the life coaches say, listen to music when you were young and it puts you in such a good mood, which is true. So um, I just wanted to mention this um, emergency rental assistance. Uh, you know, sometimes I think about if this happened when I was young, I would have found a salon to work in. I don't know how I would have done it, but I know I would have found a way because I would know. Um, I saw one of the, I would have ended up on the street too. I saw one of the women um, that's normally a street person out here today and she was dressed up and she looked very, very attractive too. But then when she started talking, it was really, really bad. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, you just can't, after these people have been on the streets, they just can't go take a bath and clean up and everything is gonna be okay. Huge problems are looming socially with all these there's a guy over here laying young too under the bushes. It's the saddest thing. Uh, California is the worst for that. So I would have found a way to work. I know I would have. I, I'd be hysterical when I was doing it, but I would have done it no matter what. From time to time, I had friends, you know, in the hair business who worked the whole time. Um, I wanted to mention the food the food shortage, the trucker shortage. Um, I'm wondering if there's a trucker shortage because the truckers are seeing what happens when you get this variant or some form of it. So uh, they're saying Costco might start some uh, food short, uh, food, what do they call it? You can only buy one. So I'm, I'm gonna be, when I'm out, I'm gonna be stocking up on a few things, not going crazy, but stocking up just to make sure that, uh, you know, I have what I need. Okay, you guys, please like, comment. Tonight I'm gonna make uh, one of the Hello Fresh meals. I'm gonna make um, a vegetarian meal. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.